Okay, 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 what's going on? We're back in Unreal Engine 5, and this time around, we're gonna be taking a look at MetaHumans. Right now in 4.26, MetaHumans, ray tracing outdoors, you get that demon eye, so, and global illumination. So, will it be fixed in this beta here? So let's take a look. If I go to content, Quixel Bridge, this is how you import uh, bridge stuff now, like MetaHumans and MegaScan assets. Now, I already have it imported just to save time with compiling shaders, but you just go here and I have this downloaded. All you have to do is click on high quality or low whatever you want, and then just download it and add, and it's gonna take it straight to your project, which is already here. So let's go take a look at Vivian BP. I'll drag and drop it her here. And like I said, we're not gonna compile any shaders because I preloaded the shaders so you don't have to wait. Okay, let's take a look, just make sure she's on the ground. Change the camera view to like one, and here we go. So, safe to say that there is not any demon eye. And let's mess around with the GI real quick. Project settings, I'll change lumen, make sure it is lumen. So there's screen space. Oh, it's not like screen space. And there's ray tracing. And there's Lumen. See the lights bouncing from here. And what's cool about GI is you do get that coloration, you know, of the environment. So if I were to put like, where is the create right here? If I were to put sphere, like a white sphere, it's really trying to make, mimic like real life, which is kind of cool. If I put this sphere right here, you can see that on her face. See it? So yes, you can start working with reflectors or bounce whenever you're lighting, which is cool. You get that soft, nice bounce. If I move it around, it's moving real time. And I'll set this to movable just in case. And look at that. Now you can have some bounce. I think they call this skip bounce. In the DP world, you can have some skip bounds. But yeah, anyways, that's what's cool about GI, right? So eyes are gone. Demon eyes is good. Awesome. Now I do have a custom one as well. I combined my favorite Paragon character, which I've never played the game, but this character for being such an old character still looks pretty good. And this is Ioe slash Wraith. Okay, let's force her to do LOD sync, Z, and we'll do Z here as well. So we get that hair back. So we have two metas right now. Well, one is just a head. Let's look at a performance, 40 frames per second. Not bad at all. And something is happening with his groom. It's turning invisible. But overall, this looks really good. I mean, to be honest, I might just use Wraith again to be to be the good guy. But uh, let's take a look at the bad guy, Space Marine. Now, I really hope he can um, output a high poly for me to import because I'm not able to import this. So this is actually mid poly. This one right now, I'm dragging in the scene. I do have a high poly from Blender, but I the textures weren't working. That's what it's supposed to look like. If you watch my previous video, it was all dark. This is what he's supposed to look like. So I'm hoping he can give me that three million tries and we can uh, put it all put it in here and see what it looks like. All right, FPS wise, we look pretty good right now. And the next thing I'm gonna test out is just uh, animation. Now, when I tried uh, downloading or migrating the animations that I bought from the marketplace, I was not able to because it's only compatible with 4.26. So I went to Relusion Actor Core because they do have some free stuff here. You know, I like free stuff. Go right here. They have all of these free stuff to play around with. And I chose the Aerobic Dance. All you got to do is download it for Unreal. Mail Dummy. You can export the mesh or not. And download that. I already have that in my folder. So. We can skip that part so you don't have to wait. And we'll create a new folder here. Name folder. And here is the actor core motion. It's going to give you a J, 
uh, FBX. It's going to give you a JSON and an FBX. That's good. And I'm going to need, since that's Unreal Bones, I'm going to need an epic skeleton here, like a UE4 mannequin. So let's see if we can do our old trick here. Add feature content pack. Yeah, looks like you can. Let's do a third person, and that's going to give me an Unreal Engine mannequin, hopefully. So let's go to BP Blueprints. All right, I'm going to try loading this up, and this should give us a skeleton here. And it's going to compile shaders, which he shouldn't be that much. Let's take a look at the... I'm going to drag and drop them in the scene here. So we get our UE4 mannequin here. And I just want to take a look at this skeleton. Okay, good. It looks like, okay, good. So we should be able to import that. So we're going to be using that skeleton whenever we import the animation from Relusion Actor Core. And it should work. Go right here. And then we're going to look for that skeleton. There it is. I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to do anything here. This should work straight out of the bat. And let's go ahead and wait for this. Okay, so here we are. Looks like I'm missing a couple of things here, but we'll see if it works. It's compressing animations. I actually have to look all the way to the right now because it doesn't pop up anymore here. Okay, so it's done. Compressing animations and I split my screen here. I like working in two panes. So for this one, I'll do perspective. I think I'm going to try and figure out to bind that speed, camera speed, to one of the number keys. That would be really helpful. Okay, so we have a UE4 mannequin, a custom metahuman, a metahuman, and an FBX file all in this scene. And our FPS is still doing pretty good. So what we're going to do is take a look at the metahuman retargeting. I know people have issues with this sometimes with new releases. So let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at her skeleton. Body. Let's take a look at mesh. Let's go to our skelly here. It's nice because everything is pretty much the same. I am lagging in here. Okay, sometimes when I switch this to this. Okay, that fixed it. That fixed it. All right, so change this to animation. Everything's good. Target manager. Set to humanoid. Let me make this bigger for you all. Show advanced. Make sure you go in here. Feeding wolves. All right. Here we go. Minimize that setup. A post. Let's take a look at this skeleton here. Skeletal mesh. Skeleton. Target. Set to humanoid. Show advanced. Also in an A post, although that is a little, that's a lot, a little wide of an A post, but we'll take a look. Targeting, everything is set. Awesome. So let's look at this skill. Yeah, man, that UE4 mannequin skeleton is a little bit wider, but let's retarget and then we'll fix it with a control rig because I wanted to test out the control rig anyway. So right click, retarget anim duplicate, meta human base, and this is. This is going to retarget that animation that we got from Relusion Actor Core to this meta human character. Hopefully, looks like it's compressing animations right here. I don't know. I've, I I kind of prefer that pop up in the middle whenever something is loading because now I have to look in the uh, bottom right corner. Just you know, some something that I got to get used to. It's not looking too bad. Yeah, compression the animation is really killing my FPS though, so I'm gonna leave it alone. So Dusty on my Instagram, saw that picture I uploaded of this Space Marine, and he didn't believe me when I said this. It legit took two seconds to render. So I'm going to show him that. We're going to render the Space Marine here in 4K to show you how fast this renders, because it is real time. And additionally, somebody asked if this is volumetric cloud. It is. Absolutely. So if you go right here, you can see it right there if I turn it on and off. That is volumetric cloud. Okay, let's save it just in case we get a crash. Control Shift S. And I can actually delete UE4 mannequin here. We don't need him anymore. Cinematics. Create a dance. Let's add Vivian to the sequencer here. 
It's going to turn on her control rigs. It's OK. Track animation. And let's do this one. OK. Oh, I loaded it in the face animation. My bad. Track animation there. There you go. I'm getting 16 FPS right now. I am used to that, though. <laughs> that is nothing new. Okay. So with the control rig, Citizen Meta 1 actually told me it's pretty CPU intensive, the control rigs. So when I bought an Intel 10900K, wasn't a good idea because that's more for gaming. Um. So suggestion is, I talked to, I emailed Pudget Systems. They told me to go with a Threadripper next time. So definitely going to be in my, uh, the Threadripper 3990X. I'm going to be saving up for that one for sure. So just a tip for that, for you guys trying to upgrade your computer for Unreal, uh, go with a Threadripper. It is cheaper too. Okay, so the animation is good. But like I said, let's check out the control rig because as you can see, like I said, the UE4 mannequin's arms were wider. I didn't correct it because I want to correct it here in control rig so we can see that. Okay, so track, right click track. I'm going to bake this to a control rig. I'm going to bake it to a control rig. Wow, that was quick. And this is where I usually run into an issue. Okay, so that's doing good. I'm going to hide the manipulators here because I don't need that. And I'm going to add an additive here. This is not a tutorial. I'm just testing these out for y'all. Uh, section is to an additive. And then I'm, uh, ooh, that's actually faster. So in 4.26, I can't do this. Drag it and drop it like this. If I drag it in 4.26, it would kind of hang and freeze. But that's, that's a good sign. It looks like the control rig is better here. Okay, so arm. We look for the arm because it's squished, as you can see right there. So I'll type in arm, and we need to do the second arm. It should be upper arm L, left FK. I'm going to press E and just rotate that out. Wow, okay. That's good. This is really good because this is really fast. Okay, and that is actually going to change it on top. I mean, she's hitting her chest here a little bit. You can fix that as well if you want, like that. So, yeah, this is really good. But I have to test it out with longer motion capture. This is only 150 frames here. I mean, sometimes my mocaps are like three minutes, four minutes, six minutes. So that might be a different story. This is only 150 frames here. So let's see if we can play back. Okay. Not, not bad. Oh, shoot. She has more. I cut her off. Okay. So, yeah, she has more. She has more animation, so let me could, let me redo that. Sorry about that. I didn't realize she had more. So, uh oh, uh oh, crash. Oh, crap. Okay, okay. So, so yeah, control rig. So let me let, let me get back in there. Okay, so we're back in there, and let's see if we can do that sequence again. All right, let's do this again. Cinematics, add, dance, because she has a little bit more animation there. I want to see the whole thing. Vivian track, Vivian 2, delete the control rigs, save all. For the body, we're going to load in an animation. Okay, I already showed you how to do the control. Yeah, okay, so that, that's definitely way longer. Right click on the uh, track, bake to control rig, meta human. This is a lot faster, but I still crashed. Um, so we'll do an additive here. And 
and we were type in arms, or you can use the controller if you want. Rotate this out. Key. Rotate this out. Key. Okay. So that's good. Let's see if we can play it. That doesn't look too weird, right? Yeah, some dance moves right there. Okay. So that's good. That worked. And I'm going to try and hide the uh, manipulators here. There you go. So that's good. So Dusty. I'm going to do this for Dusty real quick. This is for you, Dust. Show you how fast this thing renders, and then we'll call it a day, because that's really it. That's all I wanted to test out the meta humans and the uh, the control rig. See if our nice our grid's still here. You know what? Test. We'll just go like this. How about that? Just for you, buddy. There you go. All right. Let's save just in case. Okay. So dance. Let's turn on our cinematics movie render queue, which you don't have to enable. It's already enabled, which is nice. Dance. Actually, I didn't even change anything here. I just changed the resolution. Switch a folder. Z. Save it here. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I, that's pretty much it. Let's see what else they got. I'm just curious right now. Okay, so pretty much the same thing. All right, so let's render this baby. From zero to... That's fine. We'll keep it. Here we go, Does Check this out. Dude, look at that. 70, 80 frames. <laughs> oh, Epic Games, you're nasty. You know how long that would take in like Maya? That quality right there. Or 3DS Max. Jesus. All right, so that's pretty much it. Meta Humans works with GI. Animations work. Control rig's good. Share some of the videos y'all be doing because I can't wait to see them. If you have any questions, let me know. Now I'll see y'all later. So you want to make a movie in Unreal Engine 4 using the new meta human characters, but don't know how to do it? Well, I got the video just for you.